But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Yes. Good morning, everybody. Guess the government's working again. Apparently so. Ah, good for you. Yes. Back to work, everyone. Back to work. The government is there once again to serve you. The people. The people. Thank God. I want to um, tip my hat to the courageous people uh, of, of, uh, uh, that represent us in Washington. What a brave move. Uh, that's, what are they saying? Uh, you see their dumb talking head speeches? No, the blowhards. The blowhards. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was very <laughs> courageous. <laughs> oh, we kicked the can down the road. <laughs> courageous. <laughs> what well, was crazy boning this horse shit for th- three or so months? Well, we get past uh, Christmas, so well, everyone, yeah, yeah. everyone could do their Christmas shopping. So they're, they're still divided as ever. Nothing will get done, and then you get stupid, stupid Obama. Uh, goes well. Now we got to move ahead, and jumps right into his immigration horse shit. <laughs> How about something that fucking benefits the country, like jobs or something? Not dragging in more burdens on the society <laughs> from over the borders. Jesus H. Christ! You went uh, for for the the main guy right there. Uh, right there. Right there. I'm courageous. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> players in this one. Oh, I know, but uh, that's what I heard. Like Obama's like, we got to move forward, and and uh, he's he's being a bit. And Carney smug. was like, like, yes, well, we're moving forward. Uh, the president's very interested in getting uh, this immigration reform done. So you get right out of this, where it's completely divided the nation, divided uh, Congress and the House, and and. And jump into something else that no one really fucking wants. Time to move on. Move on to something like like Time legitimately to move on to the next one. Getting jobs, setting up um, some infrastructure projects, perhaps that could get people working. Uh, what? Really seriously. What's that? Working on uh, oil pipelines and what? And infrastructure and that'll make jobs. Instead, yeah, but he wants don't... the ability to drag more fucking burdens over the borders, so uh, he has more voters. That's pretty much it. Let's let's not even fucking bullshit. I don't care what party you're for. The only reason the Democrats love immigrants coming over and and giving amnesty to illegals is the fact that they will vote Democratic. And uh, it's more votes for them, mm. and, and and that's the only reason they're doing it. Why else would you want to fucking? Dra- Do it, there's there's an unemployment problem in this country, and you want to drag more people into the country. Well, yeah, more unskilled fucking people. Well, yeah. <sighs> Who else is going to do the laundry? Exactly. There you go. <laughs> I, I, it's jobs no one wants uh, in the end. Well, there's plenty of those, too. Shut down costs U.S. economy $24 billion. How did that happen? Well, if you're not working, you're not spending. Yeah? Period, right? I guess. Is that where that number comes from? And who came up with that number? Yeah, who comes I up love, with that? I love the... There's got to be a, just some nerd and some, like, just sad office somewhere that just, like I said yesterday, crunches the numbers and just kind of throws a number out there. Well, here it is. Uh, this is what it costs. The boss comes into some <laughs> dank office where some guy is in front of an old-fashioned adding machine with a visor right. on. I've crunched the numbers, sir. It's, <laughs> I, it's, it's like a Brian Regan bit. Yeah. Okay, this is what it costs the economy. How do you know? Uh, oh, I crunched the numbers. I crunched the numbers. <laughs> well, what does that mean? They've been crunched. But I hate the round off, twenty four billion, which means they weren't sure if it was twenty three or twenty five. Yeah, yeah. So it's give or take a billion, give or in take the end, right? one thousand piles of a million dollars. Exactly. That's, <laughs> That's why that number is nonsense. They just throw that number out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should we say twenty three or twenty four? Twenty. Let's go with twenty four billion. It cost the economy. Right. What does that even mean? These numbers that they're throwing out as far as money goes with the government these days, yeah. they're inconceivable numbers. Sixteen, seventeen trillion dollars. Sure. No one even knows what that means. You can't wrap your mind around a fucking number like that. We were so close to some real shit going down. Some action. Which could have been maybe very good for the country in the long run. Not in the short term. A certainly. little chaos. 
But then all those fucking idiots down there in Washington started getting scared how it was going to affect them. And of course, mm. we, we all knew, uh, knew this was going to happen. Yeah. On the final hour that they would figure out some kind of deal. Yes, they do it all the time. Because they don't want to fuck up their own you know, careers. They don't want to lose their beach houses. They're fucking... Mm -hmm. Exactly. I was telling Anthony, that's why there will be no major change in this country anytime soon, because there's too much to lose for most people. Yeah. Like, when you go to another country, you know, th they have no problem picking up fucking bread and whatever they can find to throw at people. <laughs> yeah. Because they have nothing to lose. Nope. When the shit goes goes bad in this country, you start thinking, all right, wait a minute, fuck, this could affect me personally. Nah, I can't do it. And yeah. then you, you have to tap out. Yep. We're seeing the tap out right now. We're not brave enough to continue forward with this shit. Americans have to stay on the fucking hamster wheel. We can't jump off for shenanigans. It's too good so, in this country. So we 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 got to stay on that the wheel and uh, the whole uh, our whole lifestyle is that of uh, people that need to keep doing that we don't have time to really protest or no, no, or revolt or anything like that it's a, a weird little we weird uh, little system we got we came close yeah but in the end no one's brave enough to to push it any further than that no no one not That's one it. person in washington maybe the cruise dude yeah maybe mr cruise did you also <laughs> see the um that uh little part of the bill that they had that the republicans wanted to put through that said uh that uh, the president the vice president all the members of Congress and their aides and everything had to um, use Obamacare. They had to go to the right. website and, right. and use it. And and they were like, oh, no, yeah, that is, we don't want to do that. If, how fucked up is that? If Obamacare is so good, why why wouldn't Congress want to use it? And, 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 and why would they have to penalize people for not using it? It's, but, but they're exempt. Yeah, they're exempt. And they represent us. So if they're representing us and this Obamacare is so damn great, right. then won't they set, you know, set the example? Exactly. Why? What does that mean for us? I, I don't even know what it means for us. I don't us. understand why people don't see that and think like, ah. I think people see it, but. Yeah. What do we? Ha what do? What do we have to do? Do we have to go to a website? I don't even know. No idea. No, I think we're okay. I just figured I'll just get penalized. There'll be some weird bill that comes right, in the right, mail right. that I was penalized for not doing Obamacare <clears throat> properly, and I'll just pay it. Yeah, because I can't be bothered. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> and I got employees. What am I supposed to do? I don't know either. Do I fire employees now? Just fire everybody. All right. That's what I would do. I'm going to do that. You too. really don't know either, right? I don't know Are we if good? it affects us. We, um, yeah, we're like a small business, you know. We're a we're a business, I, I and got, we have things, and we have insurance. So I got employees. I, I guess we'll have to pay the penalty because I want to keep my health insurance. I like it. I don't want to go to the eighty percent coverage for twice the fucking premium. Do you have to pay a penalty if you already have insurance and you just don't want to drop your insurance? That's what we're trying to figure out. I if don't know. your insurance does not fit I, the criteria, right? Of Obamacare, which means things like maternity leave. I think like anything uh, else. Then you have to um, get new insurance. I think like anything else in this country, they make it kind of complicated because they want to catch a few people. Of course they do. And, you know, penalize you. Yeah. It's all, all about penalizing uh, the people because it's, yep. I use this word a lot, but it, it, it's true. It's another revenue stream. Revenue stream. So if they make it really easy, they're not going to catch some people <clears throat> fucking it up because it's too easy. Right. They want to make it a little complicated, and they want you to fall through the craps, uh, the cracks. Or the craps. The cracks, and uh, and then they penalize you. Yep. To get some of that money coming in. Get some more of that money some revenue, in. as they call it. The revenue. Yeah, revenue, tax, whatever. So. Yeah, so um, I know there's 10 things that everybody's insurance policy needs to have uh, or else you need to get new insurance that has all those things. See? That's what I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. What are the 10 things? Does anyone out there know? I know the maternity leave part. I think the, uh, I, I, I don't know what, what the other ones are. There's going to be someone, there's going to be a couple that are a little weird and obscure. Yeah. And people aren't going to get it because they don't, they're going to feel like they don't need it or whatever. And then if you're some guy in his fucking... 60s what do you care if you have maternity uh, leave on your fucking insurance policy it really is just ridiculous i mean it's stand it i just don't think it was ready to be rolled out i don't think so either and i i really don't like the fact that the government has the potential of telling you what you have to buy 
like that. I mean, you have to. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Why would they call it a tax? Why would the Supreme Court do that? Just so they could get push it through. It's amazing. Why did they want to push it through? I don't know. It's weird how that yeah. works, isn't it? Because of the money. Yeah, it's like, well, it's a tax. It all boils down tax. to the money. That's why they wanted to push it through. They don't give a fuck about the individual. But do they care? Does they never the Supreme have. Court care about the money? I mean, they might. I mean, I just don't know. I don't know enough about For the that. greater good of the country, probably. No, and it was a Prob- probably. And the, the deciding vote was like more of a conservative. Yeah, that's judge. The, John, which make uh, sense. what's his name? It's John, fucking asshole is who I call him. I call him asshole. That's not his name. <laughs> oh, here's everything you need. Yeah. Ambulatory patient services, <clears throat> emergency services. Mm-hmm. Hospitalization, right? Maternity and newborn care. This is that's uh, ridiculous. This is everything your health insurance needs. You or you're going to get penalized, this. right? Mental health and substance use disorder services, including behavioral health treatment, oh boy, prescription drugs, rehabilitative and habitable <laughs> services and devices, laboratory services, mm. preventive and wellness services, and chronic disease management. Pediatric services, including oral and vision care. Pediatric services. So that means you got to get a dentist for your kid and, and an eye doctor. Why do you, if you have no, if you have no children, why do you need like maternity or? Exactly. Like, and you're saying every single, every single criteria see, there needs to be those the, met. The maternity one, especially, is there to catch fucking people so uh-huh. they can penalize you. Period. Yeah. Period. And this is the part of the socialized medicine that people talk about, because now everyone's going to have to pay that. So now what you're going to get, especially for maternity care and, and pediatric care, you get what I call the fucking leeches in this country, the ones that will get uh, government subsidies for their health care. They won't pay for it. The government will pay for it because they're not making any money because they're on fucking welfare already. And we... Uh, who now have to get new insurance policies and pay higher premiums are paying the premiums for the maternity care, even though we're not using it, and for the pediatric care, even though we don't have kids. And that money will be all shifted around and put in the till, and it'll be spit out to the fucking leeches in this country that, again, we have the burden of caring for their fucking offspring pieces of shit uh, uh, kids. That's what it is. That's why the criteria. Not for us. They know that. It's so the money can go in and come out the bottom and fucking take care of more illegitimate fuckwad kids. How do you know if you're insured? Like, I have after insurance from being an after. Like, uh, yeah. it's whatever their company. You know how they always have different companies? You never know who uh-huh. it is. You look at the card. Like, I don't know who my insurance I don't know. It's how do you yeah. know if you have that? Uh, I don't exactly. care if I have that. Exactly. And I won't pay a penalty. Yes, I will. <laughs> Most people just won't be bothered, and they'll just pay some weird little penalty. How much is the penalty? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the first year, it's something, and then it goes up as years go on if you don't uh, adhere right. to the, the fucking thing. And by the way, the, the penalty is uh, given to you through the Internal Revenue Service. So they got their fucking mitts in it, too. Uh, and Because and, they're the ones who better to track everyone's finances and how much money you have and... and, and uh, just extract it right from your fucking tax bill. It is a tax. It's a of tax. Of course it is. The IRS is fucking, and it was never presented that way. More lies. I'm sick of it. This government we have just stinks. They always stink, and they, they will, will always stink. I know. It doesn't matter who's running it. Like, they just, they're just fucking, they're just, uh, they're just scum. I was going to say they're rapists, but it's, uh, that's not a smart enough term. They're just, they're just shit. But in a way, it does also matter who's running things because it does kind of veer. It doesn't make these sharp turns. It's like an oil tanker. It fucking makes these little moves one way or the other right. that like either, you know, benefit or to well, the people's detriment one way or another. But it does have an effect. But what happens time, is, you know, one side builds a really nice house for four years, yeah, eight yeah. years, whatever it would be. And then the new guy comes in who's from the other side and goes, nope, and just fucking tears down <laughs> yeah. the really nice house and starts all over. So nothing gets done. Right. The oil tanker is a smart analogy. That's a good way to look at it. It doesn't make sharp rights. It no, it's, just it just goes. goes but yeah. eventually, you know, 
Eh, does something. Whatever. But they but I find I don't benefit from really any of them. My no, taxes kinda stay the same. It goes up You're here right. and there. It it's just well, oh I, I can't do this that much. But that one of it's I don't see enough of a difference between even an arch conservative well, like Bush and an arch liberal like Obama. Uh -huh. I don't see as much of a difference in my That's, life. They're, they're yeah, all just yeah. shit. Low life's benefit. Low life's benefit or get hurt by the government. The middle class gets just fucked constantly. Period. Well, the middle class really gets squeezed. They're they're like it the, never gets the ATM. better. For, it never gets better uh, uh, for them enough for to make a yeah you know a real difference. The wealthy get hurt because they get the shit taxed out of them. But well, we just get you, a, no. But, we, we just get annoyed though. Yeah, they, yeah. In the but end, you still have some. In money. the end, I still got my fucking lifestyle. Yeah. It's the middle class, middle and no class. matter who the fuck is in office, you know they're the ones that don't see, you know, a significant change that that'll help their lives. Well, it's it's just the low lowlifes that really see the shift. Like try walking up to a senator and going like like asking fuck how much money he's got in his them. pocket. Ugh. Like say he's got like you know eight hundred dollars in his pocket, and say well give me five or six. Well you don't really do you really need that much. So that's what they, that's the equivalent of when they, yeah, just, yeah. they just keep taking more of your money. I am, yeah, I am seeing one politician on TV. I I, I like. In Christy, a long like fucking Christy? time. No. no, I don't even like Christy. He's a fucking. He's he's posturing and making his fucking moves, shucking and jiving for fucking uh, office in 2016. Ah, Christy, I don't like any of them. They're all jockeying Corn around Booker. for the midterm elections. Uh, it's just it's, yeah, for their own interest. For their own. It's always for their, their it, own. It's interest. always for their own interest. There's got to be term limits on, on these motherfuckers. That would be a start. But how are we going to get that in place? I know. Hey, the people want that. Yeah. No, the we people don't. want that. But we vote on it. So <laughs> fuck you. Right. It's like it's it That'd doesn't be a make great any sense. Start. It would be because they're in here now for careers. Right. That's their career is a politician. Instead of serving your country, uh, uh, getting something done, legitimately representing your your people, and then you go back into you know the personal sector, the I, private sector. I agree with term limits in a way because I hate these guys. But you know what term limits are? Like when you think about it, it's just it allows us to be lazy, like as a as a public because and I don't vote, so and I admit that I don't. I don't I, but mm -hmm. we don't. We're not. You could get them out anytime we want to. We could get any of these people out well, anytime the voters we want. Gotta oh, but it's organized but we, better, right? Than, oh, the voters, because a lot no, of these people are too stupid. I say, wait, I a lot of these voters it. just yeah. go, "Oh, here's my guy." They don't even know what exactly. that guy's been up to for right. the last exactly. four, They're eight, too stupid. 12, 16 years. Oh, it, this is the guy I always vote yep. for. Got to vote for him again. Well, what is he going to do for you? I don't know. I just recognize his name on the ballot. Would you take Bloomberg again if you could right now? I love Bloomberg now. I'm up in the Cons air on him. Considering the fucking... Over uh, de Blasio? Considering who yes. might come in? Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. De Blasio's all upset at the new spots that are running against him. Um, about uh, They show the old New York, old 70s uh, New well. York with the burnt out buildings and, uh, and fucking abandoned cars. He's like, that's ridiculous, and New Yorkers will reject this ad. They'll be disgusted. Why? Everything he's talking about is is uh, not good for the city, and not good for uh, uh, for for fighting crime, not good for uh, anti terrorism. You see this fucking Muslim thing with him? He's he's uh, preaching to the Muslims. Don't worry, we're gonna have an oversight committee on the fucking NYPD, and they will no longer be able to just spy on you, my Muslim friends. Oh. Believe me, they're keeping them in fucking check. No one's rights are being fucking slammed down their throats, and, and they're they're. And who isn't get who isn't getting spied exactly, on? Exactly, I was point. just going to say that everyone's being about? fucking spied on. It's crazy. We all got a fucking footprint out there. Look, the Muslims yeah. need to be fucking looked at. Some of these mosques need to have somebody go in there and and poke around and listen to what the <laughs> fucking scuttlebutt is. <laughs> 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 Listen to what the scuttlebutt the scuttlebutt an undercover rug salesman <laughs> needs to exactly. go in and out a few times. Exactly. It's just a bad NYPD undercover yeah. guy walks in does not right. look Muslim at all. Right. Or sound Muslim poking around. Hey, what's going on in here? Hey. Yeah, Allah. Bloomberg. What's the scoop? We bombing anyone? Bloomberg though, you know, dough. I've I've been a New Yorker now for I don't know twelve years. He he does some annoying things here and there, but in oh, general, yeah. man, the city's running pretty well. Yep, yeah, like it runs work. pretty well. I can't believe I'm saying that because I'm There's so things I things. absolutely hate about New York, but in general, well, you know, I th I think uh, we'd be 
safe to just uh, you know ha- have him again, which obviously isn't going to happen. It's his personal policy. Well, he doesn't like Banksy. Is the new one? Yeah, yeah. Then he does the annoying <laughs> shit. He's he's trying to say he's an art lover. Yeah, I'm an art lover. I hate when people do this. I'm an art lover. I know art, but but. The butt always proves you're not That's an art not lover. That's not art. You're not a true art lover. Yeah, yeah. And as far as art goes, I, I, this, I think you can find a majority of people that can look at something and go, all right, that's, that's just not art. Right. Banksy does not fall in that category, period. Banksy is art, right. Banksy's very clever. He just doesn't think, the, the, the mayor I mean, doesn't think that spray painting someone's public property well, I is think, considered art. I, I think Banksy's doing a little more than just spray painting uh, someone's yeah, property. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bloomberg, but he's got the NYPD on it. They want to catch Banksy. Oh man, this is like a superhero movie all of a sudden. <laughs> Banksy's we gotta on get the Banksy. Run. <laughs> Banksy, they're obsessed. God, because for some Banksy. reason, the, uh, uh, Bloomberg thinks Banksy's making him and the city look bad. Yeah, has he ever been caught? Is that his mystique? He's yeah. like Turk One Eighty Two. I love Jesus Turk One Eighty Two. Turk One Eighty Two on the Queensboro Bridge. Yep. <laughs> I like the, that dumb movie. I don't yeah. know if it holds up. But no, it doesn't. It doesn't? You tried it? Uh, yeah, I tried it recently. Does not hold up. And fucking, um, oh, God, what's his name? Who was in Vegas and fucking uh, Dantana. What's, what's his name? Oh, uh, God. Yeah. Someone will, someone will get it right here, right here. Bomb, 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 bomb. Anyway, uh, Spencer. He was in Spencer. For hire? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, his accent is so fucking bad in that movie. Really? Robert Urich, thank you. He's trying to do this uh, Brooklyn accent, I guess. Mm. It's so, so fucking bad. What, is it terrible? Oh, it's so find bad. Find a clip. Maybe you can find a clip of Robert Urich from Turk 182. I love, and we can get some I love bad, the bad accents. Oh. Especially when you're from that area, so you really know. It's so bad. Like the New York accent gets fucking... Yeah. Chopped apart in movies all the time. Yeah. And what was that famous movie where someone started with an accent and then said, fuck it, I can't do it? Oh, there's been a few of those. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Was it Robin Hood? Kevin Costner. He just said, fuck it, and just started talking normal, right? Yeah, his British accent Kevin. just fell apart. Yeah, okay. Really? Yeah, that's the famous one. Okay. I, I think there's a few others in there, too. Michelle but. Pfeiffer kind of fell apart in uh, Dangerous Minds. If you watch yeah. that southern accent in that, it's it's kind of like that. And I guess a little bit later, they took it and it was like that. <laughs> oh, my God. It was awful. They probably had to do some uh, redos, and she just forgot how to talk that way or yeah. something. Or the, they just don't match up from different takes. Right. Oh, it's weird. And, uh, yeah, Princess Leia. She has started out with some kind of English accent. Oh, oh right. Okay. Yeah. She's like, I, I thought I smelt your foul stench when you came aboard. And then later on, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Just completely gone. Steve Martin did a good accent in My Blue Heaven. For those yeah. Days. Yeah. Oh, oh, it was terrible, right? No, it was good. Oh, no. Well, Jimmy. Oh, well, boy, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't want to say that. It was good. Yeah. He might know the same people. Steve Martin, <laughs> so he has to say that. Exactly. What? Exactly. No, but I've been I've been rather harsh on Steve Martin at times. But I mean, who's good in that? Yeah, Collins, one of Collins' favorite films. <laughs> 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 Does it good? You gotta give him credit. Credit what's due. It's one of those movies. It's so bad, it's worth watching, right? I mean, I, I haven't seen it in a long time. I'm... <laughs> I saw that Man of Steel movie last night. How so. was that? It's pretty good. Is that out? What? It's out? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking response it was like when, when David Brent has the fat girl show up and she goes David and he's like he turns away and he goes yeah yeah and, and you know he doesn't want to <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake <laughs> uh, I thought it was pretty good yeah yeah, yeah. can we go back to the phones because we got a guy that's very excited about Obamacare oh is he it's a, it's a hot topic today Ben in Queens what's up hey guys good morning good Benny morning. First of all, I think how great it is to call your show and actually hear a girl's voice. It's so unexpected. Oh, the uh, intern on the phones, huh? Yeah. Nikki. Or or is it fucking Sal, <laughs> a girl? He just meant like a fruit. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki's a delightful young lady. Sure, she's got a cute little bow in her hair today. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I t- told her to wear it. Mm. It's yours. I said, I, said that to, I said to all the interns, I want bows from now on. <laughs> and she's the only one to listen. <laughs> Benny, what do you got? <laughs> Anyways, I uh, I just moved back to the U.S. and I had a job opening for like an hourly wage, and I make like an hourly salary. I don't get insurance at my work. 
Uh, the three four hundred dollars, or excuse me, the four five hundred dollars to buy insurance on my own is just a bit too much for me. And I'm like super excited for Obamacare because I'm actually going to get health insurance. Yeah. Okay. How much you make an hour? I make twelve dollars an hour. Yeah, Obamacare is perfect for you. There you go. Exactly. But the middle class I mean, is is paying the bill. Congrats. I mean, paying a lot of the bill because yeah. all their fucking insurance is going up to a point they can't really. Mm -hmm. handle it there are a few people that are uh, making out on this obamacare of course we sure. said that absolutely but uh, i don't again. see where the middle class benefits in general yeah i i asked yeah. a, i asked around my own family and, and their fucking bills are going up a, yeah. a bit and they just can't they can't they, they can't pay it anymore exactly yeah when you got both parents working there's a problem in this country mm -hmm. and we're old enough you know we're old enough where we remember where our mommy stayed home. Oh, you had the career moms, which is fine. I'm not saying you know mothers shouldn't work and have a career, but I'm talking about you know the majority of moms that have to work just be, just so they could pay all the fucking bills in the household. For the most part, they when don't you want to work. When you when you were a kid, for the most part, run around your neighborhood with your friends and stuff. You could go to anyone's house, and the mom would just be home. Oh yeah, the mom was fucking home. Remember the latchkey kids just started, and how weird that seemed. Yeah, yeah. And there was always maybe maybe one when we were growing up. Oh, Johnny, Johnny goes home to nobody at the house. I remember maybe <laughs> one or two kids that didn't have a mom home when they yeah. came home from school. Now you ask these kids, they're yeah. all going home to empty houses. That's None. a problem. Yeah. That are is a fucking problem. What? Are you guys generally in for the idea of giving people health insurance who can't afford it? Or I know Jimmy. Is. Well, I, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind it. Right. I don't mind it. I just think it, it was uh, too early to roll out. I, I think this thing needed to be looked at a little more because, uh, you know, people are being hurt by this as well because their shit is going up and they, they can't afford uh, their shit going up anymore. Look, I, I don't I, I make enough money. I don't give a fuck in the end. You know, it's not going to hurt me. It, like I said, it's like a, it's bothersome, certainly, mm. but it's not going to change my lifestyle. I, I fight for the rest of my family members that are all middle class, and I see they can't afford their fucking bills. Know why I know that? Because they come to me for fucking money. Because <laughs> they're desperate. I understand it too. I'm not even mad by it. Yeah, they're desperate, and and I and they're they're working hard. They got jobs. They got decent jobs. And they still can't fucking make ends meet. Yep. I've gotten the same calls from my family. You know how hard it is to say that if you if you can't afford bread, then you should enjoy cake. That's <laughs> 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 on the phone. <laughs> it's very good. Yes. But for a guy like you, Benny, you know, great, good for you, because yeah, it'll, it will help you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, listen, I understand. I just got something benefits me. Doesn't mean it's right for the whole country. But I'm just saying, there are people out there well, like that, me who who are regular, go out and work, and still, you know. Are, are unbelievably excited for this. Yeah, you know, and I hate to see people not get health coverage who are just who are who are hardworking who just don't have the money. Like that always bothers me. It's like I want to see people taken care of and have their their yeah, health care for. Yeah, but it just needed to be like looked at a little more. I mean, people will absolutely lose their jobs over Obamacare. Mm. That's a fact. Yeah. Uh, uh, what the hell do I know? Eh. Uh, huh? Bill me now. Ask me later. That's what I say. <laughs> All right, Benny. Love you, Mister Brother. That what you say? <laughs> I sure do. Down at the job site, say it five, six times a day. Yeah. Let's go to Frank. Frank A. Hey guys, I work for a uh, huge company in Westchester. Tens of thousands nice. of employees. I've been uh, tasked over the last couple of years to be the Obamacare expert. Ooh. Uh, maybe I can answer some of your questions. But uh, one thing for the reason for those ten items you guys were talking about. It's basically so when you go onto the website, the marketplace, and uh, try to choose your insurance, that every insurance company can offer the same basic insurance with the same 10 base items. And it's just so when you go onto the, to the website, you don't have a thousand different things to choose from. Every insurance company has to offer you the same thing. And that's the reason why they give you those 10 items. But why, let me ask you, why can't you pick and choose... What exactly. you want, what? like, like, literally, who? This is what bothers me. How can Maybe the government in tell me to do that, but not in this country? What exactly? <laughs> How can the government tell me I have to choose a certain insurance if one serves my needs better? They can't tell you that, but they could tax you. That's that's what the whole fucking gist was. Right. The government can't force you to buy something. That's what they say. Uh, but the they're Supreme technically Court, forcing you to buy but something. A, but it's a tax. See, it's, what kind of fucking semantics bullshit is that? 
<laughs> Sir? Now, I, I don't have a problem with the whole concept of Obamacare. The problem I have is everything is based on this federal poverty level. And it's just one number that's supposed to work for everybody in the entire country. Yeah. And once you, once you start making over $70,000, you're not getting any subsidies. Nope. But the difference between making 70000 in New York and making 70000 in Western Florida is a huge difference. It's sure, the air conditioning bill down there. Oh. <laughs> it's a major difference. When I, when I leave New York and, you know, do my shit... I can't believe how much things cost. You know what? It's it amazes me. You know what the most amazing thing is when you leave New York when you go when you stay in a hotel anywhere else in the country. Right. Anywhere else in the country, you right. get a hotel room and you're like, this is half right. of what it is in in New York and City. And then you go out to a halfway decent dinner right. and you're expecting, you know, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollar bill, yeah. and it's like. That'll be 120, and I'm like, but we have yep. two bottles of wine. How is this possible? It's it's amazing how expensive so you're right. shit is here. You're yeah. right, Frankie. And they don't do it regionally and think like, you know, yeah, somebody making 70 grand in New York City is not very well off. You make 70 grand in fucking West Virginia, you're you're the, the king of West Virginia. Uh, household, there's a lot of households that you know combined make 100 G's. Yep. In the New York area, and I'm telling you, that's not even close to enough, believe it or not. Man. But anywhere else, that would be a nice living. Well, Anything else, Frank? Well, Frank was better. All right, let me, uh, let me say hi to Rick in Texas. Rick. Yeah, you know, before Obama got elected, I had free insurance for my company. They paid for everything. Not a dime out of my fucking pocket. Once Obama got elected and he, and, and he, and he passed uh, Obamacare, boom, my insurance was dropped. And went, it went from being free to a car payment. Then, right now, it, it's a mortgage payment. Now it's going to go to a mortgage and a fucking car payment. You know, it's a bunch of bullshit, man. Ooh, this yeah, is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the, you know, the section of America that is getting fucking hurt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Later. Working Hi, people. Yeah. Yep. Just squeaking by your regular Joe, you know. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, what am I going to do? Not put a little sippy juice in my lunch pail? <laughs> I like to have a Snapple. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Just cracking a Snapple on the job site. Yeah, I don't drink on the job. You do that. Oh, oh. I have a Snapple. I stay sharp. <laughs> PB&J. Don in Alaska. Don. Hey, yo. Um, you know, because I work for myself and everything, so I've got my own insurance. What my policy was before was 188 bucks. I didn't have maternity leave, no child care bullshit and everything else. Now that with Obamacare with these 10 points, my insurance has gone up $200 a month. Mm. And that's if I can sit there and get it because I've got to go and log on to the website and all that kind of bullshit, pay yeah. for a bunch of other shit based on a five ten thousand $10,000 deductible. Right now I've got a $3,000 deductible once I meet that. My insurance covers me a hundred percent for anything up to a million dollars. Yeah, the Obamacare completely just ignored the middle class. And, and you will get these completely. defenders that will say that this guy doesn't exist. Oh, that's not happening. Oh no, it's not. It's like you you're fucking you're hearing it from a lot of people. Look, I, I'm just. I mean, every single phone is lit, and they all are saying that their shit is going up. Yeah, and they're not happy about it. So you used to pay 188 a month, and now you're. You're estimating it's going to be about three hundred and eighty-eight a month. It's three ninety a month. Jeez. And here's here's one of the things. Now, when you go down and buy a car, you buy a house. They tell you how much it is right up front. Yeah. If you go to the website, you don't know jack shit about how much it's going to cost you until after you give them all your information. Oh, all that's your right. Stuff, the whole nine yards. Here's another thing. If I decide to keep my hundred eighty-eight dollar a month policy, which is fucking fabulous. But if I decide to keep that, they can fine me or, excuse me, tax me between 1% and 3% of my annual income. Jesus. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's, it's a tax, sir. That's okay. It's just a tax. Yeah. Another yeah. tax. Unbelievable. I guess we could handle another tax in this country, right? That is, uh, yeah, the government uh, stepping into your life. There, welcome. Open your door and welcome them in to fuck you in the ass. And then you got, I mean, every, look, you I, I said people will lose their jobs. Here's an example of that. Birdman on Long Island. Go ahead. What's, what's happening, fellas? Long time on the cold. Hey, listen, I, got a, I, own a, I own a company. I got about 15, 20. What, what kind of company? I mean, it could be even vague, but what kind of... Uh, I, got, I own a fence company. Fence? A fence work, right? Okay, yeah. And I got guys, legit guys, you know. And I'm going to have to go with all illegal aliens, you know, immigrant. To, so I don't have to pay no 
And I have my, my, my insurance is 25000 a month for health insurance. For your employees? For my employees. And that's going to... I'm done. I can't do it. And what, and what? That 25000 is going to go up go with... 50. It's going to go to fifty. you think? 50, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to go double. My account already said it's going to go double. How can I afford that? Yeah. This is ridiculous. So what you'd have to do is now lay people off. Yeah. And, and, and then and you then go... What? And then I'm drive by hire. Home Depot every morning. That's what I'm going to do. Well, I'll just go to... I know where I gotta go. So small businesses kind of get fucked really Five, big yeah, time. Yeah. Yes, it's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. it's Absolutely, five percent, five percent, ten percent is one thing. And that's no another. That. That's yeah. another thing is that the the website you do you have to put in all of your information uh, before you before you even know. before you even get any information back as to what insurance policy you want to do. So I mean, you're putting in every fucking bit of your personal information into this government website. It just seems fucking shady. These things always end up being something else, too. Guaranteed, sometime in the future, they're going to find out that this database of everybody's information was uh, used for something else, was fucking, you know, the NSA or, or fucking FBI poked into it to check something yeah, they out. Everything. They're going to know when you take a a piece of shit, you know what I mean? Right. It always ends up this way. Or it gets hacked and somebody gets the information. You know, it's... Hey, Birdman. Vote for the Mulian again. Birdman, if I ever need a fence, I'm coming your way. I love you. I yeah, love this too. guy. Thanks, buddy. I, I live in the in sky, but... I'm, you know. and, and I'm in your neighborhood, man. Good fences make good neighbors, my friend. You got it, buddy. All right, I like man. a nice fence in my apartment. Get what? I fence off the living room. You let the kids go in there in their wild jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Mike on Long Island. Mike? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Welcome aboard, Mike. Hi, Mike. We're talking hey, to the people right now. Give you a quick story. Oh. Yep. My daughter, two college degrees, worked for a plastic surgeon, old timer in Manhattan. Speaks his mind. Walked into a conference room, told everybody in the office, we're going to have to lay all you guys off. You're all going to be part time now. You're going to have to get another job, and you can thank President Obama. Damn. See, these are real. Pay the insurance. These are real stories that the news, you know, isn't really tackling. Yeah. You just, you just, you just put the phones on, and 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 these are the real stories coming in. Absolutely. So it's insane, man. Anthony yeah. and Oprah, they're right on, man. One hundred percent. Yes, they on. are. Do something. All right, brother. Thanks. All right, brother. <laughs> Take care. Well, it's it's that old gag, the temp to hire, which I was part of for a while. I worked uh -huh. for um, Xerox in Rochester, Ooh. and they 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 dangle that carrot in front of you. I needed a job. I wanted to yeah. go into radio, and I was part timing, and I needed to pay bills, so I I got a job at Xerox, <clears throat> and it was a temp a temp to hire, and they dangle the carrot in front of you like it's a temp to hire. Hey, they might hire you. They and might hire you full time if you're good. I forgot the percentage of people that actually got hired in the end. Because they had to hire some people, or that attempt to hire would be a complete bullshit. Mm -hmm. The percentage was so low. Like I'm, t I'm saying maybe one percent. Yeah, yeah. And the rest, they had no intention of ever hiring because they didn't want to pay yeah, all health the insurance and the everything benefits, else. Benefits, yo. So they, that's how they got around it. But you're going to see more people doing that type of shit. Yeah. You're allowed to hire just part time guys, right? So you can only not pay the health. Yep. They yeah. are. Okay. So that's what they oh, do. Yeah, they they'll cut be workarounds. Cut people's shifts in half. Just hire more people part-time, yeah. part -time, and that and eventually then, will hurt the economy and hurt yeah. the country, obviously. Yeah. It all will trickle down eventually. Uh, let's go to Philly. Uh, Jeff in Philly, what's up? Hey, boys. Hey. Hello. I have the perfect example for, for this bullshit. I, I mean, I have a normal job. I'm a middle-class guy. I'm an electrical estimator. I work for a company that, you know, always paid my insurance, always. Never had an issue with it. Now, all of a sudden, my insurance isn't good enough, so I pay $100 a month. I'm about to fucking quit my job and, you know, say fuck it, give up my nice car, get rid of my house. You know, me and my family will live. Deported You're talking about being a fucking. bum, Jules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's the same thing. How much money a month is it now going to cost you? It's 800 a month now. 800 I didn't pay a thing. I didn't pay a dime. Eight hundred. He went from month. not paying to eight hundred dollars a month. You can't this do is that. what's going on out there. You cannot the, do all that. The, all the ports, all the people. I, I'm not a racist. I'm, I'm just saying ports. So I don't oh, like Jesus. People, but. <laughs> I understand. Jeez. Um, but seriously, like you know, it doesn't make any sense that that the people that you know work hard, I work hard my whole life. You know, always do what I'm supposed to do. You know, I buy my house, buy my cars. You know, I support my family. And and now I got to get you know screwed because my insurance is it's all right it's not great but it's free you know what I mean it was free now it's eight hundred dollars a month there's a million yeah. of these stories coming in 
All right, Jeff, thank you. I want to give a couple more people a chance before we move on to something Be else. good, Jeff. Before we move on to the laughs. Uh, G on Long Island, what's up? Hey, fellas. Hey. Uh, I- my wife and I, uh, she's in healthcare. I'm in law enforcement. We both collectively make almost 200000 And I'm not, not bragging. Braggard. But, yeah. I make that in so- an hour here. Oh. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> And it's still it's still not enough. I mean, we're getting ready to have children here, and, and on top of you know, uh, the mortgage, which we we have a fifteen hundred square foot house for a third, uh, for three hundred twenty five thousand nine thousand dollar property taxes. So all of that, combined with the fact I'm trying to have a baby, our health care has gone up. She can't even stay home. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I make enough anywhere. If I move anywhere, I will be able to support us. But here we can't. So now she's all upset because now she can't stay home with the kids. It's just a fucking nightmare. And and capitalism has, has let me down. Where's my American dream? <laughs> well, if you achieve the American dream in any way, shape, or form, get you penalized. get fucking smashed. Yeah, I believe that. They don't want people achieving the American dream anymore. They want dependent uh, leeches that uh, need the government so that they keep their jobs and uh, the money keeps rolling in. It's uh, yeah. just... Just more voters. That's all they One want. One more thing. I work, uh, I work for federal law enforcement. And today, um, because everything's uh, all the federal workers are going back, we have been told that we need to hang out by the Social Security offices, the IRS offices, because all those motherfuckers that didn't get their shit, that didn't get their checks, they're huh. going to be just attacking the Social Security offices, just complaining, Ooh, violence. Yeah fighting nice so this, is, this is what it's come to they want to get in line get their free glad ought to make some good world star hip-hop videos yes <laughs> just, just turn your those. camera the right way please I know, please thank please you. landscape mode thank uh you. thank you sir let's go to carrie in massachusetts just going around the horn as they say <laughs> what's up Corey? Hey. uh carrie carrie what's up all right hey massachusetts has had mandatory uh health insurance for quite a while and a couple of years ago my husband got laid off for a little bit but we lost our health insurance for like a year. Can I? Can, I gotta stop you. Yeah. You're not that far away from us. Why do you sound that way? <laughs> <laughs> well, why? What do you mean? <laughs> well, you know, obviously we worked in Boston for uh, yeah. a little over three years. But man, when, we've been in New York long enough to really hear the accent now, and I you know. guys are great. you're one highway away. I could I could be there by <laughs> noon. I can leave right now and be there by noon. Why do you guys sound this way? I don't notice it. (laughs) (laughs) This is a good one, too, right? Oh, it is. Now I'm going to be afraid to talk. No, (laughs) no. Now I'm going to be afraid to talk. (laughs) Everyone sounds like Sully from Godsmack. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I I forgot what you were saying because I was was mesmerized by the the, the heavy accent. So like my husband lost uh, health insurance. He got laid <laughs> off. So we lost our insurance for like a year. Right. And um, uh, yeah. when we went to go do our taxes, uh. <laughs> they, their solution. All right. At this point, we were scraping by. We were Fuck like, me harder. Harder. <laughs> fuck me harder. <laughs> Put your cock in me and fuck me harder. My insurance is wicked and <laughs> wicked expensive. Ah, expensive. Uh, wicked expensive. <laughs> wicked expensive. Everyone well, sounds anyway, like Susan Waldman. Eat my ass, you <laughs> cocksucker. Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. Obamacare. <laughs> Obamacare. Jimmy, help me out here. Help yeah, me out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that she sounds lovely. Oh, I like that go. accent. Yeah. Uh-huh. John Bond is laughing. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> he knew. Cribs. Oh, oh, fuck. Get down there and eat my box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they live right over there. I'm pointing. You can almost see oh, their God. skyline. I know. It's Across like a- the Long Island Sound, you can almost see them. It's all another land. And it's just, wow. <laughs> anyway. I forgot what I was talking about now. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, they find you on your taxes and pay yeah. it and make it. Go ahead. That's your point. So, yeah. So we're like two weeks from living in a cardboard box. <laughs> Bo- a cardboard box. A cardboard box. <laughs> a cardboard box. <laughs> Almost two weeks away from living in a cardboard box. Right here in Boston. <laughs> and we go to do our taxes and their solution <laughs> to helping everybody out is they find us. $2,400. It's per person in your house. Well, well they should Wallace. find you so, for not talking properly. Yeah. <laughs> Not speaking <laughs> properly taxed. Oh yeah, put God. cattle prods in your anus for, for <laughs> accent for the adjustment therapy. So, and from what I understood, from where we lived, that was one of the least expensive right. 
Uh, so it was like 800 bucks a person. So they find That's a lot of dollars. <laughs> dollars. <laughs> Well, Everyone in Boston right now is like, "Why? Well, I, I don't know, get it. Huh? I don't get this bit you guys are doing." Oh, well, like I'm going to catch shit for this for a long time. Boston is weird though because there's some parts of Boston where they don't talk like I this. I know you're right. It's weird. Where yeah. Roxbury? No, it, it, it's <laughs> right. Yeah, it's you know, like, I've I don't been know if they're Arizona for years, and I never lost the accent, so I'm used to getting harassed. Where, where anywhere, you anywhere near Faneuil Hall, Salvi, all that shit near the water. But as yeah. you move away from the water, you don't hear it near as much. the water. The water. <laughs> Where is Southie in Boston? Like I, I mean, I know I've probably I don't know if I, I don't know if I've been through Southie. Where is that? Southeast. Oh, <laughs> it's oh South part. South part. The South <laughs> part and a bit east. But anyway, so is that the city? Is that the city? Huh? I paid out of pocket that whole thing. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I paid out, out of pocket. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I need for my health care, for my doctor's appointments and my kids' doctor's appointments and all that crap. Johnny used to cut a hole in his pocket. I put my hand in there and touch his clock. <laughs> <laughs> go to the Sox game, I'd give him a handy. <laughs> right through his pocket. <laughs> and they don't care, they'll find you. <laughs> when you go to do your tax. Oh, one word she hasn't said yet is kid. Yeah, yeah. Kid, I said kid. Oh, oh you did you say go. kid. All right. Yeah. You yeah. guys love saying kid and wicked. <laughs> yeah. What's happening with your swocks? Oh, I don't know. I don't follow sports. Wow. wow that's a rare. That name. is rare. That is extremely rare. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I was a Yankees fan, so I took a lot of grief. Oh, boy. Wow. And I, uh, talking like that and uh, rooting for the Yankees, yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah, well, you know the Sox stunk back in the seventies, so. Well, well, they stunk all the way up until like fucking two thousands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what year Jesus. was that again? We forgot already. Oh three. Was it oh three? They finally. I think. Or no, like, was it? Oh two. Oh oh three. Maybe oh three. Oh four. Was oh, it oh four? Okay. Yeah. The yeah, we curse was finally over in oh four, I guess. <laughs> Tigers the beat the Sox the last Pampino. night. Pampino. What? What happened? Tigers beat the Sox, so it's uh, oh. it's. T I wish I wish I was into playoff baseball because I'm th I'm hearing these games are great. I heard a sports although casting. last night not so much. It was seven three, but I heard a sports casting call and the Motor City Kitties. <laughs> oh, I was like, ugh, yeah, the Motor City Kitties playing really shitty. <laughs> That was like cringe, wow, cringe and that's terrible. Yeah, that's even if that was the name of the team, I wouldn't I say. I know it. it's terrible. All right, kid. All right. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks a lot. From Boston, one, what are you? Yeah, right on, what Carrie. are you playing in Fenway Park or something? What? This guy's saying. What? Is he saying his bill went down? Josh in DC. Yeah, what's up, guys? Yeah, gotta keep kidding. it fair. Gotta keep it fair. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to play the other side of this one. I was paying, uh, well, it was less. It was about 250 a month, and then it jacked up to 500 a month. So it was 250 for a paycheck. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, it jacked up to 500 a month uh, before Obamacare, right? Right, right. Okay, before. just keep the and facts then, straight, right. Exactly. And then the, um, the website was available. Uh, I think it was MarylandHealth.gov. Um, I go on MarylandHealth.gov. I put all my info in. Don't worry, Ant. They're not taking your info. Calm down. Of course and, they're uh, not. Yeah, <laughs> just because you said so. The info will never be used for anything else but this health insurance uh, uh, stuff. Of course. Yeah, because right. because we've seen before, when you give the information to various government agencies, it's never used for anything else like Absolutely like not. law yeah. enforcement <laughs> or, or, or what? tax or the IRS. What do you, Stop. What Stop you, it. What are you hiding that? You are bothered exactly. by this. I'm not. You can find it all on one hard drive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, Just got to so find where it's headed. <laughs> it's going to be a doozy. Yes. <laughs> uh, what do you anyway, got, Josh? All right, so I put all the info in, and after it gives me all my choices, it actually came down to about $170-ish a month. So I actually saved even more than I did prior all right, so how is that happening? And, and your deductible, your deductible is the same, and uh... um, I, I raise my deductible slightly, uh -huh. um, so it's possible that because my deductible was raised, my yeah. my my policy went down. I don't know. I'm not, you know, the smartest from what guy to what? To from what to what? You deductible? Uh, I went. I went from five to a thousand. Okay, you That's doubled what, it. So the deductible is the biggest horse shit ever. But I, I rarely it, 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 came up with that. It ends up you got to pay for everything anyway. Yeah. Unless, I've God forbid, you lose a limb or Well, you have your deductible. Kidney. What do they call it? Decides to failure. It's something. the fuck you, you're paying first shit. Yeah, you're paying anyway, asshole. Yeah. 
the funny part is I never get sick, and I rarely. <laughs> that'd be great. That is that'd funny. That'd be funny if Robert Reed said it. <laughs> That's the funny. I'm going to get eggs tonight now for that. How about, how about when you go to some of these doctors' offices and you know you do your thing, yeah. and then you go to the counter and they go, "That'll be thirty-five dollars." Yeah. I'm like, you just made that up. What? You, you need lunch money? Yeah, they're a little deductible, what? or, or they're uh, show me the fine print that the it's thirty-five co-pay. bucks. Oh, but the copay is completely separate from the... I copay. know it is, but the, it seems like they just make that up, consider it. They, they yeah. ask around in the morning, all right... Uh, What's the copay today? What do you what guys do we want? Need? You want sushi for fucking lunch yeah. today? They <laughs> pull out that little <laughs> little metal filing box, <laughs> right? and they put the money in it. I'm like, that's not going in it. That's no. going in your pocket. Petty cash. <laughs> right. Copay co-pay my ass. My, uh, <laughs> exactly. Bravo. <laughs> all right, thank you. All right, later. I had to go to the doctor. Mm. <laughs> ah, that Boston accent's a hoot. I don't love it. All right, doctor told. All right, I'm just going to run down and you tell me which one you want because we could do this for hours. It's unbelievable. Obamacare insurance went up. That's mm. Oscar in Indiana. Jeff in Delaware, middle class. Everything's going up, which ah, we all know. The regular Joe. Uh, Kevin in New Mexico. My doctor told me he's no longer taking insurance. He wants a retainer. A retainer, like fucking a lawyer, huh? Uh, Matt in Texas. Uh, solution is just don't buy the shit. Well, then you get fucking penalty, but uh, okay. But how much is the penalty? Yeah. But then uh, then you're not insured, which is always a risk. Well, yeah. you have your own insurance, and you're just paying the penalty on the other one, which to... is pretty disgusting yeah. to have to pay. I was trying to tell someone the other day, I, I don't even know exactly, but I think I finally got insurance when we moved to Boston. Yeah. Mm. I made it into my 30s without fucking health insurance. Damn. Yeah, me too. Everybody, right? I had it through my, my job. You were lucky. Yeah. You got to have it. Radio be- didn't have health insurance. No. no. And you couldn't afford to go out and get it yourself. Yeah, when you're knocking 10 out there, you need your insurance. Oh, what the hell? I dropped something on my foot. I go right to the doc. <laughs> <laughs> but they, uh, they, the first thing they ask you for is, like, literally, they won't treat you unless you oh, have yeah. your papers. They're like, yeah, you fill this out, your insurance, please. Insurance. They love that shit. Mm. No, he doesn't want to be paying for other people's insurance. Well. Yeah. That's well, a popular, welcome. One. popular welcome. one coming in today. Yeah. All right. I, kind of, I guess we kind of did it. Yeah. I think uh, Tony in Brooklyn wants to comment on the on the uh, the Boston accent. Tony right. in Brooklyn, what's up? Hey, how come uh, you ever hear a black guy with like a thick New York accent or a thick Boston accent? Is it uh, is, why is it only white people that have that accent? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Well, well, the problem is there's not black a lot of people black people like. in Boston. Yeah, but. Ones that out of Boston don't really have that whole. Yeah. It's not like, ah, I had to go to the doctor. Patrice was a Boston guy. He didn't have an accent. Box. No. Um, I'm trying to, I, I don't know a lot of black people from Boston. They have their yeah, own. You never like, even hear like a lot of like, New York guys, like, you know, hey, how you doing? You know? <laughs> yeah, hey, how you doing? <laughs> That's they have, true. They have don't their make own, us play that song. They have their own uh, black kind of dialect. That was a funny song, How You Doing? How You Doing? Oh, God. God, huh? Yankees. How you, How you do it? it? Oh. Doesn't make sense to play today. How you do oh, it? Oh, it was such a good yeah. song. Terrible. Laughs would come. It was like, hey, oh, I know that, that player. Manooch. Kamanooch. Kamanooch. We played this to hey, death. Hey, Joey Baseballs. Oh. How you doing, man? Hey, not for nothing. How great are the Yankees doing? Oh, no, forget about oh, it. How yeah, you forget doing? about it. What a year it's been. My boy Chalut's called. He wants oh. us to do a little something special for the fellas. Yeah, wait a minute. This little ditty oh. we're going to sing right now? Wait till you hear this. Uh, it was a big hit. A lot of radio stations played this. Shane Spencer, how you doing? The pink stripes. Oh, the pink stripes. <laughs> oh, God. God, is that terrible. Ugh. I hated that you fucking like that? song. Oh, uh, fanucha, fanucha. Terrible. I went through the Obamacare. It took my rate from $200. To seven hundred to be compatible. All right. Anyway, but the <sighs> government is uh, is up and running. That's great. Yeah, wonderful. Very good. Business well, as usual. Well, I'm happy for the people that were out of work till January, and then they get to fucking duke it out all over again and waste more fucking time. Uh huh. Waste everyone's time. It is a big waste of time, money, resources, mm. energy. Yes, energy. Energy. Sheldon. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. Very good. 
Business well, as usual. Well, I'm happy for the people that were out of work. Certainly. Till January, and then they get to fucking duke it out all over again. And waste more fucking time. Uh-huh. Waste everyone's time. It is a big waste of time, money, resources. Mm. Energy. Yes, energy. Energy. <laughs> Elbow grease. Yep. <laughs> Oh, but the blowhards, they're on TV right now. Uh, they're they're, just they disgusting. all have something to say. Right. They all, all got something to well, say. My side certainly isn't the problem. Well, <laughs> if you look. Yuck. Yeah, fucking uh, uh, the, the uh, White House fucking press guy. What's his name? Carney? Jay Carney? Right. Was, uh, he, he was saying yesterday, uh, oh, this, uh, these manufactured crises. Crises, manufactured crisis, it's like manufactured crisis. Trying to put it on, you know, the other side and everything. It's, they're both a bunch of fucking assholes. Both sides, fuck them all. Yeah. Absolute cocksuckers. Yeah, nothing to do with uh, the best interest of uh, the people of this country. Nothing. You know, one of our favorite people is George Went, right? And you missed the great. Oh, I did. George Went. Yeah. yeah. Marvelous it a horrible it. day to not be here. Yeah. It was the weirdest fucking half hour of radio we've done. Yeah. How fucking strange it was. Right. Then I think we were trying to turn it into an intervention because we felt so bad for the guy. I'm not <laughs> saying it was a good interview. It was just a uh -huh. weird interview. Yeah. He's 65 today. Ooh. Did anyone else see the George Went commercial doing the bears? Oh, yeah. On the plane? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. did anyone else notice that George Went can't do the bears anymore? He can't? He can't do the accent. What was he doing? I, he was just doing George Went. Oh. He forgot how to do it. <laughs> you got that commercial? Uh, I think I have the window seat. You better double check that, my friend. Don't think we don't know who you are. Yeah, I'm Aaron Rodgers. No, that's not it. You're that State Farm discount double check guy. Discount double check. Thanks to the hundreds you saved us, we could upgrade the grill class. Grill class? Two times you're in your seat back. Same with the, the other guy's really playing it. The other guy knows how to do the accent. Yeah. George Went could do it if it's a couple words. Yeah, yeah. But if he has to say it, uh, say a, a sentence, he can't do the fucking <laughs> voice. Yeah, subtle thing. What a terrible end. commercial. That is a bad the one. Bears. What was that about? I, I don't know. I swear I don't know. State Farm Insurance. Oh, State Farm Insurance. Oh, okay. Is that a fucking insurance commercial? Aaron Rodgers on a plane, and they fold down their fold-out trays, and there's fucking food cooking on it. That would be crazy, How Jimmy. How is that insurance? What a hazard that would be. Yeah, the food would get all mushy. Oh, there could be a fire in the uh, cabin. Absolutely. Very, Very unsafe practice. You raised a good point, Anthony. <laughs> all right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.